Let's put it into the BV2S. This is another helmet that I've got here that we're going to outfit with it. I'm actually going to put it so the receiver is on the right hand side. I like my action camera on the left hand side so I can still run the throttle and control the camera with my uh, with my left hand and still maintain control of the snowmobile. I find with the Uclear I don't really need to touch it once it's set up so we can set that anywhere we want so I'm going to probably put it back here and away we go. I'm actually going to pull the visor off so I don't scratch it. You don't necessarily have to take the visor off. Open up the breath mask. It, it, it pulls off. It just snaps on and off like that. That can go to the side. You can now pull the cheek pads out. The cheek pads actually are velcroed from behind and there's a little metal clip which you'll see right in here. Probably can't even see it at the front. So they come out from the back at the ear. Pull them out and then lift, push back on them like that. And it's velcroed in. So that's a nice thing is you can remove that and it's all machine washable. pieces out. You can pull the skirt off too if you want, but in this case we didn't have to. You can also put the helmet on before you take the cheek pads out and mark where you want them to go. I've already done that on here. My ears are right here, so it's a, it's a very simple process, but if you wanted to mark that, uh, stick it on your head, put a piece of tape up there between your ear and the ear pad, take it off your head and then you can remove these, you can do that. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. Gently remove the uh, covers. They're velcroed on the inside here too. See that? Under the velcro, push it through. Pretty simple process, really. Actually, this one's a lot different than the last one I did. I don't even need to cut away any foam. My older BBS2 had a layer of foam here, which I had to cut away, so I don't even have to do that on these. So that's that one. This must be what they call a second generation BB2S. Really you only have to slide it open that far. So there's these Velcro pads. What I want to do is I want to mount this so that it's right like that. So I'm going to go be over top of this foam a bit. I'm going to cut some of it away actually. goes just about there is where my ear sits. Now they're removable. Velcro will stay on. The microphone can go through the earpiece but it's just like that. Put both wires through. So that one's done. Gently pull this over again. The 
make sure that these don't get stuck on themselves. They push through like that. go that cheek pads done do this other one so you see they're marked left and right not that it really matters but some wiggle room if you have to move that around. There's a screw right there. You can remove the screw on each side if you want to take this piece out. But I think we have enough room underneath here that we, uh, we don't need to do that. So push that up. microphone loose because I'm actually going to install the microphone up in the top here. So we'll leave it loose like that. And then there's the metal tab right there that that fits into on the front. So push that in like that. Pull that and then that will snap in just like that. It really forces in along there. No problem at all. That's in place now. See, it's nice and flush with that. I'm going to do the other side now. microphones could go anywhere you want they could even go up in here which would actually be easy I actually tucked them up underneath this headliner last time right in there one of the subscribers messaged me through Facebook and was asking me a while ago about communicators and he said what if you have a boom microphone like this so these are the original communicators we used to use but I just wanted to show you today what if you have a boom microphone like this 
how do you handle the installation in the BBS2? I would actually just set it up so that when you when you put the boom mic in, it is bent so it just appears right about there. So if you bend the boom microphone select like that, your visor still opens and closes and your breath box will still open and close out of the way of the microphone. So you just want to position it so it's tucked up in between the breath box and the cheek pad. And that'll work well, even if it's a little bit above, this is a vent, so it's a little thinner area. And just make sure it's up out of the way so that you still function with both. That's the tip I have for, for using a boom microphone like what you see here. And that's the earpiece that's connected, so you mount that up just the same as what I've already shown you. Let me stick in place with these two pieces. This one doesn't have any sticky on it, this one does. And all this does is hold the microphone in place like that. I leave it sticking out of the Velcro a little bit so it doesn't impede the sound. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, turn this over here. Slide that back. I'm reaching up underneath this liner. I want to fish this up through the liner. There it is there. I don't know, it's hard to see. Hard to see in there. You can see my fingers. I'm going up underneath and back inside again with that. I'll put one here and one on the other side, just, just above each eye basically. I guess the further they are apart, the better stereo effect you'd have. There's one in place. I feel it there, right there. That's good. That one's in. I'm going to do the same. I have to pop this cheek out. To take this mic. In behind there. Right under there. Just like that. That can all go back into place. Snap the cheek pad back in, and there, we're good. That is installed. If you look it in here, this is actually just a little plastic flap that pulls up. That's where you can put your wiring around, is underneath that skirt, okay? So, it's gonna be impossible for me to show you here, but you can see, probably you can see the wire wiggling there. I've got that, I'm gonna run that right around the skirt and out the other side and mount my Bluetooth unit. In around there we go that's better I'm actually gonna remove this little screw in there you see pop that chin that skirt out drop the wire through and then reassemble it so I'll plug this in just like that Probably right there is good. Slide that pad on, that clip onto the U-Clear. Clean up this area with rubbing alcohol or I've got fingernail polish remover, which is like acetone. It'll just get rid of any oily film or anything that's on it. 
this is more of a rubbery material, so it's tough to stick anything to anyway, I found. But these 3M double-sided tape that they have with the GoPros is pretty good stuff. So we'll let that dry and we'll just mount that right there. Peel off the pad. Pretty happy with that. We'll see if it holds. If it doesn't walk we'll to dress it. Might have to use some heat on it too. So that's it. Absolutely beautiful.